everyone and welcome back to Shapazan channel. This is Julia and Lana. And normally we do a lot of shopping and giveaways, but today we have a special episode talking about fashion mistakes. Yes, I know. There's 10 of them on our list that we and everyone else makes over and over again. Let's call them bad fashion habits that would result in fashion fail. So never, ever, never, never do it again. Just kidding. Let's start with number one, logo items. To logo or not to logo, big print designer names on your t-shirts or on your outfits look very cheap and tacky. And of course, you will be just paying for the names written all over you to advertise it. Well, we all know that the celebrities so-called Instagram stars, influencers, they all get them for free, hence the advertisement revenue. Less logo on your items, better. Number two, and this is my favorite fashion mistake that I make often in the summer, is dressing too little. <laughs> it's hot! It's hot, but this is no reason to reveal both legs, shoulders, cleavage, even if you're subhuman size, extra, extra, extra small, some modesty goes a long way. I have a few examples in my closet of dresses that are simply too revealing, too short, too tight. So the kind of dresses that only teenagers should wear. And the same goes for crop top and hot pants. Unless you're the only person on a deserted island, permission granted. I mean, yes, some of us look in the mirror and think that we'll look sexy hot, but in reality, hmm, let's think twice. And number three, ladies, please wear matching underwear sets with the clothing that you are wearing. We see a lot of beautiful wide tops see-through and then you notice that there's a black bra sticking out and this is not a good look. Well, I think there's a very reasonable explanation to this. You rush in the morning, you put your underwear first, you haven't decided what you're gonna wear, and then the result is a mismatched underwear with your clothing. Well, I have a confession to make. This has happened to me this morning. So it could happen to anyone. And same goes for the seamless panties. If you are wearing tighter trousers or jeans or just even leggings. And number four buying something and wearing it just because it's in trend. Don't invest in yellow fur coat just because it's in trend now. You might just end up looking like a chicken. I guess most importantly, wear the style that actually suits you. Otherwise, you might end up wearing these Croc Balenciaga shoes that is a cross uh, between uh, something really ugly. Well, cr Crocs on the heel, I guess. Just plain ugly. Stick to something that is beautiful, that complements your figure, that makes you feel beautiful, comfortable in your skin and clothing. And number five, buying basic line clothing in the fast fashion stores. And we're talking H&M, Pull and Bear, Bershka, even Zara sometimes. Yes, you see a lot of those stacked items that are folded in different colors with different sizes and the prices are very low and they look really appealing. But you know what? You buy this clothing, you think, oh, I got a really good deal. But after washing it a few times, it will look like something you're gonna mop your floor with. So in the long term, you're just wasting your money to invest into something more expensive, more beautiful, that will flatter your figure. Number six, buying something too small, too big, or just age inappropriate. <laughs> we all, we all fall for something that's on sale. Unfortunately, the size might be wrong and we get it anyway, hoping we will tailor it or we will lose weight eventually and wear it. No, it never happens, just don't. There's nothing better than perfectly fitted outfit. And also something, as you mentioned, age appropriate. Well, miniskirts never get out of fashion, it's just that we are getting older. Well, we're not here to say what you should or shouldn't wear, except there's nothing worse than showing up to a party wearing the same dress as someone's teenage daughter. 
Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. And thinking that she look fabulous. And we're guilty of it as well. We have a few dresses that have been sitting in our wardrobes for maybe at least 15 years. So yeah. Oh, and number seven, wearing a white or pastel color outfit with black shoes. I know we all have black shoes and they are really universal, easy to wear, easy to match with everything, but we'll show you a few examples what we mean by that. I thought black shoes go with everything, but apparently not. Invest in a nice pair of beige shoes that will actually go with everything. And number eight is one of my most hated fashion mistakes is wearing yoga pants or gym wear outside of the gym. So, if you're not actually going to the gym, don't wear yoga pants. Yes, they're comfortable, yes, they're light and stretchy, and we might think they flatter us, but that's not always the case. Yes, I've seen a lot of people wearing head-to-toe, active wear clothing, full-on makeup, and just not going to the gym, just running errands during the day. Keep it at home and don't wear them. And number nine, wearing black color all the time. A lot of people like to wear black, including me, because black color makes it very easy to wear, makes you look elegant, makes you feel safe. But wear a little bit of color, change it up, and you might find you'll get a lot more compliments, you'll feel different that day, and you'll feel more cheerful overall. At least that's how I feel. Yes, especially when you wear yellow. Especially when I wear yellow. <laughs> oh, and finally, number 10, the last one on our list is buying the same thing over and over. If you're wearing jeans, you may have five or six or more pairs of jeans and similar shoes and similar t-shirts and you never change it up and people always expect you to see in the same thing. One day, show up in a dress and you'll just see the reactions. True, people will definitely notice that. We all get comfortable with the same color shirt, just the comfort zone, but step out of it and do something different. Yes, we encourage everyone to change it up and surprise yourself and everyone around you. Be brave and try something new. Yeah, I think this, this one is my best tip. Personally, I have so many different kinds of styles of clothing that it's a surprise every time I open my closet. And I think sometimes you're just afraid to wear something different. You know, it really scares you, right? Be courageous. So here are the 10 mistakes that we do every day and a few tips how to avoid them. We're all guilty of them from time to time. This is just a quick reminder and a mental note to ourselves. So if you enjoy watching our videos, please subscribe. The next video will be an exciting challenge video that we did in the fashion mall. So subscribe, like, share our videos, and we'll see you very soon. <sighs> see number four. No. What about the no bra fashion? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they forgot. <laughs> Undergarments are really, really important. Well, I guess they invented the bra for a reason. Surprise! <laughs> we are not wearing them, but we're just going to show it to you what we mean by dress appropriate. I might. What? And...